our YouTube and Fallout community. So today Bethesda released an article talking about a, they're already doing another update to Fallout 4, the 1.5 update, and it's available on Steam and of course in the upcoming weeks it'll be available on consoles and everything. But I'm just going to read over most of the article. They actually mentioned creation kits and stuff too, so it's a pretty interesting article. But let's get right into it. Along with support for our upcoming add-on Far Harbor and additional gameplay optimizations, the 1.5 update, now available as a beta on Steam, features the revamped survival mode which incorporates a number of changes based on beta feedback. Thanks again to all those who participated. In the coming weeks, 1.5, complete with survival mode, will be released on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Also in development, Creation Kit and Bethesda.net mods are still in closed beta. We hope to add support for mods to the 1.5 Steam beta soon with console support for mods coming in updates that follow. Stay tuned to Bethesda.net and the forums for when those updates will go live. Please note that we strongly advise players running third-party mod managers to back up save files and disable slash install them before opening into the beta until they have been updated to support the new changes from the 1.5 update. They, they mentioned some stuff that we already know about survival mode. And it says, please note, survival difficulty characters are not backward compatible with the 1.4 version of Fallout 4. If you opt out of the beta, do not use survival character saved games. Third person camera movement improvements when player is close up against walls and other objects. That's a, one of the new things. And here's some fixes. General stability and performance up improvements. Fix rare crash related to reloading a save that relies on automatron. Fix issue with the robot workbench camera not moving properly immediately after canceling out of the menu. Fix issue with perks being repeatedly added when reloading a saved game while in robot ro workbench. Fix issue with Ada not properly traveling to an assigned settlement. Robots can now be assigned as settlement vendors. Fix issue with appropriation where blueprints would not appear properly if the container had already been looted prior to getting the quest. In the nuclear option, entering the institute using the targeting helmet on power armor no longer inadvertently causes the player to go into combat bec and become stuck in the institute. Fixed distance check with robotics expert perk. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. While in workshop mode, if the jump button is remapped, the Y or triangle button can still be used to jump. Ability to, to delete downloadable content via the add-ons menu, PS4. Fixed issue with defend the castle where speaking to Ronnie Shaw would not properly complete the quest. During the nuclear option, fast traveling away from the institute immediately after inserting the relay targeting sequence holotape will no longer block progression and a fixed issue where workshop placed light bulbs would occasionally not light properly. And how to access the 1.5 beta on Steam? You log into Steam, right click on Fallout 4 in your library, select settings, select betas, a drop down menu will appear, select XXXX, that's four X's, select OK, wait a few minutes and Fallout 4 should update. When done, Fallout 4 should appear as Fallout 4 beta in your library. So it's, it's pretty cool, uh, none of the changes seem all that drastic. Uh, it, but it's cool that they're adding things for Far Harbors, which means that if they're adding stuff for Far Harbor, then people are going to go into the code like they have before, where they found the Harpoon gun, they found the squid parts, they found uh, the was it the Algwai ghoul. So like, we're going to find more stuff out about Far Harbor probably within today, within the next week. People are going to start digging into that shit today. So that's pretty interesting. It's cool that they mentioned creation kits and Bethesda.net mods. It's cool to know that, that those are coming soon. And so I'm look, Fall Four is looking pretty good, guys, for the next you know a couple weeks. Later.